good afternoon. Good morning. Items. Items. It's a frog on there. Okay. Items. Eight deco. Shark attack. Okay. Items. But we're here to talk about this today. The Mary Funky Monk. Relaxed Piper. I own this now because of you. This is my Stanwell Spigot Billiard. Can you see that? Relaxed Piper, you scoundrel you and your wonderful promotions. You got me under the spell, brah. Anyway, great smoker. I'm a big fan of the Stan. More show and tell. Okay, Woody. Pink. Drinkless. Stinger. If you don't own a stinger, you're missing out. They teach you to slow down that cadence. Slow it down. Great pipe. I got another one coming. That'll be in the next video. Final show and tell. Pipe bag, of course. Black coffee. Today we are drinking Death Wish coffee. So, the Merry Monk reading. That night, wondrous, that night, a wondrous and exotic scent mingled with the campfire's aromas. The Merry Monk spoke. It's called a pipe filled with tobacco and brought from far off lands. We can all partake. To smoke is said to sharpen the wit and provide good humor. The men gathered as the hooded brother passed out pipes. So enjoyable was the practice that from this night onward, they would be known as the brothers of the pipe. Red and bright Virginia leaf is seasoned with Cypriot Latakia and St. James Perique. Then enlivened with white barley and black toasted Cavendish. This rich mixture, opulent and almost scandalous, is pressed in Asian cakes before being sliced into flakes. Drucker and Sons, founded in London, 1841. Oh, that's a mouthful. see what we got here. Keep in mind, I've only been smoking for two years, so I don't really know that much, but I'm also a chef, so I think my taste buds may be reliable, trustworthy. I never trust someone that says trust me.
yapping too much. I don't really smoke that many Englishes that don't have Orientals. But these are nice. It smokes cool. What does that mean? It smokes cool. How did cool? It's burning smoke. How is it cool? If you slow down your cadence, it should be fine. Immediately. Yeah, you know, I'm going to spare all the Jim Inks words. Whoever Jim Inks is. If anyone knows who Jim Inks is, put it in the comments, please. My analysis of this, the taste, what you're looking for, what, what I taste. You ever put like brown sugar on bacon and then it like glazes over and it becomes like a gooey, crispy, crackly, sweet, salty, amazing thing that you devour very quickly? Something like that. But there's also an earthiness to it so maybe caramel corn that you buried zombie caramel corn very pleasant do i wish it had orientals yes but then it wouldn't be the merry monk would it it would be the Mary Chinaman. Over.